In the umbrellas, we see many well-dressed Parisians hurriedly putting up their umbrellas. Only the woman at the left, carrying a large hat box, seems untroubled by the rain. She is without protection from the elements, having no coat, hat, gloves or umbrella. Renoir painted the umbrellas in two separate stages, beginning the composition in 1881 and returning to it and finishing it in the fall of 1885. The four figures on the right, painted in 1881, exhibit the bright palette and soft brushwork that we associate with Renoir's impressionist style. The man and woman on the left, the figures in the background, and all the umbrellas were painted four years later. They are more muted in colour and linear in handling. As we shall see, the women's fashions also reflect the years in which they were painted. The elegantly attired mother, painted in 1881, looks down at her two daughters, perhaps beckoning them to come under her umbrella. She is dressed in a two-piece ensemble appropriate for an afternoon promenade. Her blue jacket, possibly of velvet, has loose sleeves, an open front and a tightly fitted waist. It is decorated with a corsage of flowers and extends over a high bustle. She wears grey leather gloves that fasten with two small pearl buttons. Delicate gold and silver bracelets adorn her wrists. The mother's outfit was at the height of fashion in 1881. This contemporary advertisement for the Louvre department store shows various elements of her outfit. Tiered skirts, bustles of modest proportions and bodices with loose sleeves. Below the mother stands her youngest daughter, who is shown carrying a hoop and stick. She wears a palto, or jacket, with a large square lace collar, lace cuffs and two rows of buttons. Her greenish-blue skirt and petticoat peek out from beneath the jacket. Beginning in the 1870s, this style of jacket was very popular for young girls and was frequently advertised in fashion magazines and department store catalogues. It is very similar to the costume worn by Marthe Bérard, the daughter of a Parisian banker, in Renoir's full-length portrait of 1879. The older sister is more simply dressed. She wears a three-quarter length sky-blue palto with a cape collar and dark blue cuffs. A handkerchief peeks out of the left pocket. All three family members wear luxurious, fashionable bonnets that would have been appropriate to their ages. The mother and youngest girl's bonnets are trimmed with fetching feathers. The older sister's bonnet is trimmed with lace and a silk flower, not unlike one advertised in La Mode Illustre in October 1879 for girls between 12 and 14 years of age. When Renoir returned to the umbrellas in 1885, the family's outfits were no longer so fashionable, but he left their ensembles as we see them today. In reworking the figures on the left, he portrayed them in apparel that was more up-to-date. The woman wears the 1885 outfit of a modiste or milliner's assistant. Her ensemble features a new silhouette, a tight bodice, low neckline and narrow sleeves. The pointed bodice, known as a corsage à pointe, is trimmed with velvet. The slender sleeves neatly define her arms. Unlike the family on the right, the young shop girl does not wear a hat. Instead, she wears a blue ribbon and a coral hairpin that matches her earrings. Renoir was fascinated by modistes and the simple black garments they wore, painting and sketching them a number of times between 1879 and 1885, the year in which he returned to work on the umbrellas. In 1885, Renoir also reworked the bearded young man on the left, wearing a stylish cravat, leather gloves and a debonair top hat. He emerges from the crowd to offer the modiste the protection of his umbrella. Men's styles did not change as frequently as women's fashion during this time. Unlike the mother, this man's outfit did not go out of fashion during the four-year interval between campaigns. In the background, various figures, all in hats, raise their umbrellas as they go on their way.